good evening. We're live. Welcome, 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 everybody. Back to round 17 of the Williams Road to Glory. 53 laps ahead of us around Suzuka this evening. This one, I must admit, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about, but I am looking forward to it as well. Uh, welcome on in, though. Mitch, Reese's Pieces, Horrible Yorkshire Gamer. Hope everyone is having a wonderful Tuesday evening. Um, Sniggles as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So Sniggies, even. Sorry, I don't know. Um, welcome, 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 everybody. We'll, we'll give it a few more minutes. I, I need to put out a tweet as well, um, just to say that we are live. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to this one. 53 laps at Suzuka. Doesn't actually sound like that big of a challenge on this game, to be honest. Um, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. I will I will probably bottle it, Mitch. I think if you know me well enough, you'll know I'll bottle it at some point. Um, so I'll wait and see how this goes. Um, but yeah, hope everyone is having a wonderful Tuesday evening. We are ever so slightly early on the stream, so yeah, we'll post that up now. And yeah, we'll, we'll see how this one goes. Of course, we've got to do our HelloFresh uh, little sponsor slot as well. Um, I did remember to take the mods off. Yeah, it kind of works out quite nicely. Now Gary and I are doing co-op again. Uh, basically, it just means that I don't record like a mod career mode video on F123 on a Tuesday anymore. Because uh, it means, obviously, I've got the mods ready to go on both Monday. Uh, sorry, I've got the game ready to go on Monday and Tuesday. Toast, welcome on in. Uh, Beastie, welcome. Let's hope the engine doesn't go with a bang this time. We'll, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Xaz as well. Welcome, 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 everybody. Um, yeah, look, looking forward to this one. It's been a little while since we did the Williams RTG. I think it's been nearly three weeks. Oh, it must be three, two, two or three weeks. I can't remember. I think it's been three weeks. Just where so we've been very, very busy, um, with some other stuff. And I took a week off. Just because I wanted a bit of a break there. Verstappen, uh, he's looking like championship is pretty much done and dusted. The worst he's finished this season is fifth. Uh, although, to be fair, Hamilton hasn't not scored points in the Grand Prix this year. Um, uh, has anyone else? I've got a, no one else really has even finished every Grand Prix, which is rather impressive as well there. But yeah, the battle between Verstappen is very, very good uh, as we head into this one. Um, welcome in, Ghost. Hope you're doing well, mate. Just halfway through the newest episode. Both Red Bulls over a minute quicker than last year in Bahrain. But wasn't both... Um, wasn't like everyone, pretty much, I would have thought a minute quicker than they were in Bahrain last year. Have you ever thought of live-streaming the Lancia career mode? If I get really tight for time at the end of the game, uh, maybe. But the way I've got it planned out, we should get the Lancia career mode done in time. So basically what happens, Reese's Pieces, is the plan of action at the moment, F1 1998 career mode will finish uh, at the end of this season. Probably won't start F1 1999 until after the F1 24 game hype's died down. Uh, F1 Championship Edition, hopefully I'll finish that season. My team, I've got 10 races to go with this season and then 20, uh, sorry, 16 races next season, so 26 races altogether. Plus the... Six from F198 and the 15, I think, from F1CE. So we've actually only got like less than 50 videos left to do, and we've got pretty much three months to do it. Um, so we shouldn't be too tight for time. Um, but basically, I need to average that. As long as I do like four career mode videos a week, we should be fine. Um, but I normally average five or six, so we should be okay. But if I run really tight for time, then I'll stream. Uh, like the last couple of the Latcher career mode. I want to do three seasons, basically, so I want to try and win the championship. Uh, welcome on in, RBH. Hope you're doing well, mate. I'm I'm very good, thank you. Should we should we roll the YouTube intro, and then we'll do qualifying, then we'll do our sponsor slot, and then we'll get back in. Eh, I'm I'm always pretty busy. I'm always pretty busy. Uh, so, well, I, so the thing is, obviously, with the Latcher career mode is, at the moment, I'm doing it twice a week. Once F198 finishes, that'll probably go up to three times a week. And then once F1 Championship Edition finishes, then I'll have like a load to grind out at the end of the game. Um, so you'll probably end up with like four or five, maybe even six uploads of that in a week at some point. 
Uh, Mitch with a bit. Thank you very much, mate. I appreciate it. You got so unlucky in that race of Watkins Glen. Yeah, that one that one was upsetting. Uh, but I will I will definitely be doing more eye racing uh, in in the very near future. Just need to try and fit some time in for Gran Turismo again. But we we be busy at the moment. That F one ninety eight to 07 mod career mode seems like a big mistake in hindsight. What makes you think that, boss man? Like I've already I already said going into it, it's literally going to take us years to do. Um, like li you know, I want to do ideally two or three seasons, like every year as such. So it's only like fifty. It basically like an episode a week would all be all I need to average, and then I get it done in like three years, which is all I'm really aiming for. Uh, just because it's a series that I don't, I hope really won't kind of go out of date as such, because it's already out of date. Like it, it's not one that I want to get done ASAP. Like it is genuinely one that is going to take years to do. Um, Treffery, I'm Bill Moore. Thanks, mate. Hopefully, you are as well. Uh, as you might also be able to tell, chat, I am slowly losing my voice, which is not good. Um, so we'll see how this goes tonight. Shall we roll the YouTube intro? I think we should. Hello everyone and welcome back to round 17 of the F123 Williams Road to Glory. Yes, we're back this weekend here for the Japanese Grand Prix. 53 laps ahead of us uh, around one of Formula 1's most difficult tracks, at least in the game anyway, uh, just because of how notorious it could be to lose the back end here. If you missed that on the last video that went live from Singapore, I would highly recommend going back and checking it out. Just a handful of races to go with the season. Uh, and Max Verstappen has one hand on the Drivers' Championship. A 94-point lead over his teammate Checo Perez. That being said, the battle for P2 uh, between Sergio Lewis and Charles Leclerc is looking very, very feisty as well. Uh, I'm currently P8 in my Williams car. We've got a bit of a buffer over Alonso and Piastri, uh, but it looks like our battle is probably with Lando Norris between now and the end of the season there. Maybe, just maybe, we can get the jump on McLaren as well. But yeah, let's head into it though, ready for the Japanese Grand Prix. Drinks a lot of Vimto. Works wonders for a sore throat. I've never heard that, but I might have to try that at some point. I've got I've got my glasses of water, uh, which I might have to refill at some point uh, as well before we get into the race, perhaps. Uh, engine components are looking quite worn, but I don't want to do anything yet. Uh, we have got a slightly better gearbox as well. I'm trying to avoid taking penalties as best as possible. Uh, between now and the end of the season, uh, but we do need we do need the R and D. Yeah, I think you get to that point, don't you, Michael? Just more illnesses start coming around again. I just want to keep watching the AI destroy each other in that mod. The AI in the '98 mod are insane, and that doesn't change, I believe, in any of the other seasons. Like I quite like it in that regard. Of you know, you've got to be really, really gentle. Uh, with the wheel-to-wheel -wheel battles. BZ as well. Sorry, I missed that. Seven stream streak. Thank you very much, mate. I appreciate it. I'm from the UK, so trust the process. I genuinely can't remember the last time. I've probably had Vimto like four times in my life. Ah, oh, dearie me. That does not look fun. At least it... Ooh! Next season regs. Okay, so we might see some regs for next season. Um, look like they affect aerodynamics. Um, we might not be able to do a next season, though, is the other problem I'm worried about. Uh, because we simply are running out of time with F123. Um, so I don't know whether we'll actually bring Williams back to glory or not. But we'll, we'll give it our best shot. Uh, what I'm thinking, chat, is doing, like, a 16-race championship or something like that. And literally do, like, three 25% races a night. A uh, one-shot quality, everything like that. Just so we can try and get it done uh, before F124. Or, of course, a 16-race season, but towards the end of the game, we're literally doing like three streams a week. I don't know. Obviously, once this season of co-op's done with Gary, then I'll have a bit more time. Um, but we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Right, have I got a Japan setup? Yes. How bad is my Japan setup? Uh, it actually looks okay. That doesn't look fun. Uh, we'll go like that. Uh, da -da -da. That's alright. That's alright. We'll go like that. Uh, we'll go like that. Yeah, we'll give that a whirl. We'll see how that looks. Welcome in, mate. I'm doing well, thanks. Hopefully you are as well. We're 
Back with more of the Williams RTG. I'm always happy. Right, let's see how we get on this. Rather see mini short races than mini streams a week with long races. Yeah, I think that might be the way to do it, is just run like a load of... Um, say do like, I don't know, three 25% races and do like a 16 race season on trackside and joy. One shot quality, so we'll literally smash them out. Because I can literally do that in like three weeks at the end of the game. If, if we really, really want to see Williams get back to the top. Oh, I hate the grass. I allow myself rewinds in practice. But get your bottom emojis in. Any my series on YouTube, I take my time with. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Svet, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Stream bands. Oh, exactly. Yeah, I'm doing well, thanks, mate. Hopefully you are as well. Say so we literally just have jumping into free practice, so we'll see how this goes. Rewind two one two. That's about as many rewinds as it takes me on a normal, a normal episode of this. Actually, to be fair, Japan is one of those odd tracks on this game where occasionally I'm just locked in, and other times we have a bit of a nightmare. Is it already starting to rain? It is. Deary me. That's going to make the other programs a little bit more difficult. There we go. Fuel run done. And a job well done. We got some hey, welcome on in, Chelsea. Come on back to the garage and I can take you 2025 the driver lineup thoughts. Oh, it's too difficult to call at the moment. No one really. It feels like because. What basically what normally happens is because obviously. If one year's static, then the next year's mental. So we could be in for quite a lot of shocks for 2025. Hamilton and Ferrari is already hype, of course. Um, I am definitely going to bin it. Like, I'm definitely going to bin it in this. Track's already getting towards Inters. Why, why put me back out there? Hey, congratulations, Svet. Enjoy that, mate. That's mad. Have you seen the images about the new Saudi... Well, see, Quidia? I'm probably butchering the name, but... If they replace Jeddah. It's literally if... A kid was put on a city simulator, like a city builder game, and told to just design whatever they wanted. Hey, Smurf, thank you for the tier one sub, mate. 11 months. That is wild. We're almost up to a year of streaming. Thank you very much, though, buddy. I do appreciate it. One of the real OGs on the stream. Right, let's see how bad the Delta is, then. I've already invalidated. We love that. Retro Cyborg. Welcome on in, mate. Hope you're doing well. Jeddah's an interesting track. It's not my favourite. It's fun to drive on the game, but it was... I mean, it's a bit of a chaos track, isn't it? It's one of those ones now, I think, where most drivers obviously don't push to the limit because there's just no point. It'll only end badly. Trying to... I'm planning a trip to Shanghai for the weekend. Oh, game, really? Turkish Grand Prix is coming back. We love it. I already spoke to Mustafa about it. I want to see it happen. I'm doing very well, thanks, mate. Yeah, we want to see Turkey return. The return to Turkey would be beautiful. I would quite happily drop three or four tracks from the calendar to see Turkey back. F125 is a create a track feature. Ugh. I can never see it happening. If you want something like that, you need to go track mania. Oh no, I can't keep him validating. Do 130R. Oh, for the race weekend. 
How difficult is it to go to Shanghai for the Grand Prix? Like, is it particularly difficult if you don't live in China to go? I mean, it would surely be an interesting one to go. But surely it's not that difficult. I mean, expensive to get to from where I live in the world, but... I did, well, the thing is, the wet Turkish Grand Prix was brilliant. I think the problem is, of course, it wasn't even the fact it was raining. It was more the fact the track had zero grip. It'd be harder to go to Monaco just on prices alone. Monaco, actually, to be fair, the Grand Prix isn't that expensive. Like, it's just if you want an boat or want to live there or anything like that. Like, the Grand Prix, I don't actually believe, is ridiculously priced. That's good, though, at the moment, is it looks like we can actually match the Delta, which is good. What do you have for tea? I did have some HelloFresh for tea. Well, we, you guys have got to pick my meals again once we've done qualifying. Smurfs, so I'll wait and see. Hey, welcome on in, DJ, mate. I'm doing well, thanks. Hope you are as well. Nine-hour flight. So I'm going to Australia at the end of the year. And obviously, that's about 21 hours. Um, so... I mean, I'm going to have to take some work with me, but that is going to be intense. Although I'm very, very lucky in the fact I've done it a couple of times before. But this time around, I've got now a proper laptop that means I can edit and do stuff on the way. Right, well, first actual lap done then. Uh, we were a second under Delta, which is good. I don't want to go far from that. I mean, you've got three in the US. If I, like, if I had to think sensibly, I would probably still want to go Kota out of the US Grand Prix. Like, don't get me wrong, if a sponsor turned around tomorrow and went, Matt, we want you to go to Miami or Vegas, i go, yeah, sure. But I would really like to do Kota one year. Or Montreal. I know it's not the US, but I've always quite fancied doing the Canadian Grand Prix. Yeah, Canada, I think I'd love to see Montreal. I would love to just see Montreal as a city as well, though. I think is the thing. Like, I'd love to just... I mean, if I went to Canada, I'd have to go meet Gary, of course. And that would be good fun. Hey, welcome in, Chilsey. Hope you're doing well, mate. Right, we've got one more lap to do then of this. I mean, this is good prep, actually, for qualifying, because that's going to be really slippery. But I feel like we are getting into the groove with the car. A little bit more understeer than I'd like, but that's okay. Obviously, Grand Prix is going to be dry, so... But uh, I think that was always the way with this car as well, is you've got to be very temperamental with it. I'm just in Michigan. There's so many places in the world I'd love to go to. I'd, like, I'd love to go see some NASCAR Cup Series races as well. That'd be great fun. I'd love to do Daytona. Thing is, I want to go. I want to sort out a few other. I mean, we spoke about this in Singapore, didn't we? We probably rambled on for close to half an hour about various bits and pieces I want to do before I can sort of travel everywhere. 
That was good fun, though. I enjoyed that stream. Just randomly kind of... Well, we, we spent about 10 minutes with me laughing at the idea that someone wanted to call my kid Nelson Mandela, which is not great. Um, but apart from that, it was just good to have a sort of a bit more of a chill stream. Bradson, welcome in, mate. Top three circuits you'd like to go to that I haven't been to already. Monaco. Kind of obvious. Singapore. I'd love to go to the Grand Prix for that. Um, I was meant to go to Singapore a couple of years ago and then COVID and other bits and pieces got in the way. Um, and probably I would say Montreal, I reckon. Bratson and Sam, welcome both on in. Hey, thank you very much, Stephen. I appreciate it. Right, so hopefully then, because the rain stopped, the Delta is going to be a bit out of whack here for the final practice program. Not often we get all the R&D in practice, so we'll see how this goes. Baku for the straight. Well, Baku's really cheap as well. Like, Baku is insanely cheap. It's just quite a weirdly long flight, though, from where I am. Oh, nose in, nose in, nose in. There we go. Beautiful. I feel like I'm learning how to tackle the understeer around here. Nope, he says that. Ooh, drifted in to the second egg now, I suppose. Good way to throw away a few tents, but I'm happy we kept it on the island. That's all good prep for Saturday's qualifying. Nice run on the exit as well. We'll carry that speed all the way down into Spoon. Actually lacking a little bit of straight line speed, apparently. Which is odd in a Williams. Oh, good line. Good line. Nope, apparently not. So they add a poor Ricard. I mean, it still seems mad when you consider France's Grand Prix history that they don't have a race. Like, France, it staggers me. They don't have, like... I mean, with the exception of Le Mans, I guess. Like, they probably ought to have their own version of Silverstone in terms of prestige. There we go. We love that. Like, it staggers me that they don't have, like, the racetrack for Formula 1 in France. Like, you know, obviously you've got Belgium, Hockenheim or Nürburgring, everything like that. Magni Corps, maybe? Weren't we in Jeddah, like, yesterday? How do you get to Japan? We were in Jeddah for, uh, for co-op. Completely different series. Right, well, there we go, then. Uh, all the R&D you could ever wish for. So, happy with that. Um, qualifying time. Silverson hosts a 24-hour race. It's just not like a... It's just nowhere near the level of, like, Le Mans. I think he's actually in Citroen C1s. We've made a plan that I'm taking you and Bradson to back him. That would be interesting. Right, so... Yeah, it's because the track was already getting damp. We're not far away. Right, chat. It's time to get your predictions in. Oh. Where am I going to qualify? YouTube, tell me in the chat. Twitch, make your predictions. Um, oh, I've zoomed in way too much on Twitch. Right, you got two minutes to get your predictions in, ladies and gents. Will I bottle qualifying? Will I do all right? Only time will tell. Bradson, in the 11 months you've been here, you've never watched a single second of my stream. That is disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. Have you been cooking today? Crisps, we cook every day. Every single day. Right, here we go then. Japan in the wet. It's scary. It's beautiful. But if you get a lap nailed here, it is quite fun, I will admit. But getting that lap nailed is not easy. Max seems to do that a lot on this game. He'll start out really well and just get worse. Uh, is the weather meant to change as the session goes on? 
No, it's completely I static. Of intermediates in these unpredictable conditions. Right, so in these conditions, you just want to put a bit of extra fuel in the car, let the AI do a couple of laps, and then kind of see where you're at. Why is everyone now spamming watch time when we all know it says nothing? I will probably battle it, Michael. I will most likely bottle it. Alright, so I've got no idea what times the AI have set. I've got no idea how the battery is going to work either, but first lap starting then here in Q1. I think we've got our teammate just in front, though, it's an Alpine. Slower than Williams, of course, now in 2024. Got a good setup around China. I don't think I've driven around China on this game. Right, okay. So Leclerc set the benchmark then. 38. We went quicker than that in practice. I'm happy it's intermediate conditions again, though. Like, I thought it was going to be full wet. But apparently not. Nose in, come on. Gotta get that bite. Whee. Oh, she's sliding. Oh, I've nudged the grass. Oopsie daisy. Oh, what is that? <laughs> That's first lap in the bin. I don't think I've driven China on this game. I might have done it like once in career mode, but I don't think I've driven it. Nordschleife has to go on the calendar. I love the Nordschleife, but it is not suitable for Formula 1. I was like six cents up on like Lance Stroller before I bottled it. I would quite happily see Nordschleife being made suitable for F1. But I feel like you'd lose some of the charm. And by charm, I mean the ultimate fear factor. Oi, let's go again. To be fair, we weren't actually a million miles away. And now we got a Delta as well, which is good. Just got no idea how much you can take into okay, turn one. Two laps of fuel remaining now. Nose in, nose in, nose in, nose in. There we go, beautiful. Oh, come on. Okay, two seconds up. That's good. Sorry, chat. I am really concentrating at the moment. Three seconds up. Okay. You might have a bit more pace here than I thought. I mean, this car is not a million miles away from the front anymore, so... Don't invalidate. Oi. Don't bottle it. That's like the one thing you don't say to a man that will definitely bottle it. 1.2 seconds up on Lance. Oh, that water droplet right on the apex there is scary. Back in, wanted to break free through the final chicane, though. Big improvement inbound. Will it be enough to see us straight through into Q2, though? Shortest run to the line. 37.9. That is P1 in Q1. You love to see it. Easy. E Z. Chat. That's what you want. That's what you want. How big is the advantage? Oh, okay. A little bit closer than I expected, um, but we'll take it. Now we've got to hope the track doesn't improve. Uh, which it doesn't. So P1 in Q1 then. Petition to finance mine and Sam's Twitch subs. What does that even mean? Like, you guys, someone pays for it, or... Oh, Alex! 
What is that? Out in Q1. Shocking. Shocking display there. He got knocked out by Esteban Ocon. Well, there we go. That makes our P5 fight in the constructors a bit more difficult. Um, but we were fastest in the end. The only car into the 37s. So let's try and emulate that into Q2. You give us Twitch subs every month. Surely it just makes more sense to not sub. Rather than me giving you money to then give it back. Like, like forgive me if I'm wrong, but I believe then Mr. Bezos will just claim money off us for nothing. Five dollars a month? You're telling me you don't have five dollars? I love how much of a meme she is. She absolutely deserves it. Right, AI again around the same time. I don't think track conditions are changing. He made Q2. Yes, we did. Would you believe it, Crisps? Who would have thought it? Not me. Don't invalidate, thank you. Right, so we know what we're aiming for again then, roughly. A 137. 97 seconds to do a lap here. Or get some wheel spin, one or the other. Start playing the anthem. Back in, tried it. I'm really trying to go a bit more sweat mode at the moment. I apologise. Really trying to make sure we get the lap hooked up. Oh, beautiful line through Spoon. Make it one smooth flowing corner. Try and get the power down on the exit. Can't understand why streamers stream for five minutes and then shout, where's my subs? Because those streamers clearly are in it for one reason and one reason only. Final corner, though. What's the time going to be? Like I said, aim for a 37. It's going to be a 37. 37-6. That's P1 again. We love it. We love it. So mad. Sorry, what have I missed? What position am I in the driver's standings? I believe we're 8th currently. I believe. Are they there for jelly beans? Yes, crisps. They are there for jelly beans. Uh, dead cat? Well, dead call? Dead dead call? I'm, I'm doing well, thanks, mate. Hopefully you are as well. Especially when we're P1. By two tenths over Lewis Hamilton. Maybe they're using that Twitch sub money to buy um, jelly beans. Who knows? It's a free market, after all. Toes for fingers and fingers for toes. Not ideal. Which would I rather, though? Uh, absolutely fingers for toes. Imagine having the dexterity. Although I've got no dexterity anyway. Um, there we go. P1 again, though. Uh, so it is myself, Alonso, McLaren, Ferrari, Red Bull, and Mercedes into Q3. Um, but we are we are looking potentially like a pole position lap easy mound. I am loving this. We are getting pole chat. You've heard it here. We are taking it. It's claimed. I got one set of tyres left to go. I'm expecting a mid to high 37 to be the benchmark set. We can even afford to take the fuel out if we don't want it. There we go. 37.8 by Leclerc. Free market, stupid liberal. Oh, crap. Let's not get all political here. It's a free market. Right. Come on, then. I want to try and set, like, a mid-37. 
or a low 37 or a 36. As long as it doesn't have a 38 in it, it should be good. At the final corner, it only takes one lap here to try and get pole position here at Suzuka. But I bottled so many races this series. And I've immediately bottled C1. Not too badly, though, actually. That's okay. Uh. I'm bottling it, chat, already. Get your bottle emojis in there. Five minutes left on the clock. There is not much time. Oh, that is a big lockup. Come on. Well, this first lap is just going to be a banker and nothing more. Got to find my zen. Wait for this. If this is a P1 lap, I will eat a shoe. Like, we're nine tenths down on Verstappen, who's sick. Verstappen, if you notice in this series, cannot qualify, but always wins still. Or usually wins. I think Hamilton's won the last two, but beside the point. Like, he, I don't think he's ever qualified inside the top five in this series. Right, first lap then, 39-0. So I said I didn't want it to have a 38 in it. I guess I managed that. I want to be one and a half seconds up at least. And I'm currently in the red. Oh, nose, nose, nose. Bite, please, car. Just got to rotate the front through, but it is really trying to push out. Okay, you've dropped to P10. Let's go again. We can do better. What do you think I'm doing, Mark? Oh, yellows. Someone's gone. No, they haven't. I don't know. We've only got two laps of fuel left. Alright, we're basically a second up then. It's about the time we needed to find, but I just want a little bit more. It's gonna be like Leclerc, aren't I? What? No! No, 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 no. Surely not, game. Right, I've got one more lap at this. Isaiah, welcome on in, mate. We are suddenly now a squeaky bum time, as I like to call it. We have got one lap left to try and claim pole position here. The bottle emojis are coming out. This is what chat comes here for, but we are about to prove the haters wrong. No, I'm not. That's an awful way to start. I've bottled it. I have completely bottled it. How have I bottled this chat? How? We were quickest in Q1. Quickest in Q2. I mean, we can still try and improve and beat anyone, but... How am I this bad at this game under pressure still? It's only everyone I'm on stream as well, it feels like. It's not, but, you know. Telling me I suck in chat. We come here for the solitaire. <laughs> the bottles are just a bonus. I mean, what? We're three tenths down on max still now. What time did he set? Oh, lockups. 
galore. Yeah, of course. Of course. I hate this game with a passion. Major damage to the rear wing. Box, box, box. Could I got another lap in? Into no, no, I wouldn't have had enough lap for another. I wouldn't have had enough fuel for another lap anyway. P10. P10. Why do I suck so bad at this game? What on earth is it doing? I really thought then. I really thought we were going to prove the viewers wrong. Owen and two others. Well done on your points. I hope you're happy. <laughs> the sweat dripping down is <laughs> forming a puddle in his seat. Knees weak, arms are heavy. 212 chat, getting ready. Everybody's spamming the bottles now. Time's up. Q3 is over. Ugh. Ugh. Whoa, what happened there? Strategy is hyper soft to super hard. You know it. You are now officially Logan Beard. I mean, I still haven't qualified Alex. Before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who'll be fronting the grid. A 36! Sorry? Well, looking at that then, there was no chance I was going to get pole. Because how on earth have they all gone like a second faster in Q3? That is scary in the end there. 2.3 seconds off the pace though. We start at the middle of the pack. Um, let's try and put qualifying behind us and see where we can finish in the race. DNF will be your favourite. Well, before that chat, you've got to help me quickly uh, pick out pick out what I'm going to eat for next week. What we're going to unbox on next week's stream. I don't even know if I'm still signed into my account. But we need to have a quick look. It's time... To pick Matt's meals. Right. Okay. What on earth is Game Pass going on about? How do I get rid? I don't want Game Pass. Thank you. Sell out 212. Bradson, bro. Come on. Your boy's got to eat at the end of the day. Right. Uh, let me go like this quickly. So, if you don't know already. Hello, Fresh. Sponsors some um, very kindly sponsors some of the Williams Road to Glories. Um, nope, I've typed Williams F1 in because I've said Williams rather than um, Hello Fresh. So basically, what you can do, chat, is if you're in the UK, click on my links um, and you can get meals. So obviously, you know, we're, we're in we're in a cost of living crisis at the moment. If, if you don't live under a rock, uh, you'll be well aware of that. Food is expensive, um, but HelloFresh actually at the moment, if you use my link, I think we worked it out last time we did one of these, it worked out at less than a pound a meal per person uh, for the first couple of boxes, which is well worth it. And obviously, if, you know, if you're working in the day um, and you don't know sort of what you want, it's absolutely worth it, giving it a whirl. Um, so, of course, yeah, if you use our link, it massively helps out. Um, I don't th I don't think we'll, we'll try not to start throwing to be fair, but... Yeah, it is, it is definitely maybe that that government party. Right. So, my meals. What is it picking? Teriyaki pork mince stir fry. I tried that one before. Do quite like it. Classic beef mince cottage pie. Not a fan of cottage pie chat. Where do we sit on cottage pie? I'm intrigued. I feel that people are going to hate me because I don't like cottage pie. 44 days, 44 generations without money. Deary me. They're also the reason I'm going to spend 9k a year at uni. Cottage, cottage pie is incredibly English, but I'm just not that much of a fan of it, is the problem. So, we get five meals to choose from, chat. Or, if I want a sick, I can get that slightly cheaper as well. I'm not interested in cottage pie. That's just not my life. Have we got any... I mean, we had Valentine's Day, didn't we, last time round? Fish and chips, 900 bottles of water. 9,000 bottles of water. That that might be a very interesting one. Oh, look at that. Oh, I fancy steak now. It's the problem. I do these after I've eaten, and yet they still make me hungry. Like, they still make me so, so hungry. Rump steak would be... And, chat, red wine. 
Although I've been told don't put the red wine in there again. Uh, so I, I got told off last time for putting so much red wine in. So that was, that was a bit of a shame. Um, I, uh, what, what we got? Let's just remove everything. Let's remove everything. Do it for the missus. I, I would genuinely like to do a cooking stream at some point. Like, it would be... So, basically, I I've, I have already spoke to last two and two about this. Um, but if, if, you know, if we ever get a house together, that kind of thing, I would love to do cooking streams, just because it would be carnage, but I think hilarious. Um, and we have also discussed, because we were building... So, basically, she was very kind. She got me some Lego for my birthday. And when we build Lego... It doesn't turn into a shouting match necessarily, but there is quite a lot of sarcasm. So that that could be quite an interesting one to try and do live as well. The Caribbean Spice Bowl does look very nice, doesn't it, BC? I think we'll I think we'll throw that straight in there. Um, I don't want all greens on the side. I, I want I want my pork mince. That's what I want. Um, if there's any vegetarians here, I'm sorry. Uh, creamy double mushroom penne. I like that, to be fair, but it's not going straight in my basket. I feel like we're gonna we're gonna try and spice up a little. Oh, salmon, salmon and Hasselback potatoes. I don't even know what a Hasselback potato is. I am I am slowly convincing Last Two One Two around this onto the idea of a stream. She's not sure how she feels about being called Last Two One Two though. I think is the problem. She seems less and less convinced. If you get an engine failure in Suzuka, can you buy me the Mercedes F1 Lego? There's probably quite a high chance I do. And isn't the new Mercedes Lego car really expensive? Um, crispy Serrano ham. That looks nice. Ham topped chicken. Sorry? Is that chicken wrapped in ham? Is that a thing? I learned so much from this website. Like, so much. How does this work? Once lay, once hot, lay in the chicken, ham side down. You do. You put ham inside. You put chicken inside ham. That is certainly interesting. Um, let's have a look. What else is there? This isn't chicken tikka masala. Well, what is it then? It's all very confusing. How about I want to build the McLaren MP4-4 Lego car. That one looks sick. I need to buy that at some point. Um, I want to do. I want to build that on stream. That'd be a right laugh. What is this? Um, eh? What's it going here? It is. Oh, okay. So it's plants. I obviously I knew that, but it's plant-based pieces. Um, see, that's mad, isn't it? Due to the war in Ukraine, substituted sunflower oil with rapeseed oil in some products without a label change. So, got to be careful. Got to be careful. Got to read the fine print chat here and there. Um, cheesy loaded sausage in buns. Isn't that called a hot dog? Am I right in saying? Wifey212. I, I will ask her if she's got any better recommendations. Because I have also said to her as well, I totally get the idea that perhaps she doesn't want to get doxxed on stream. Um... Although she has kind of also accepted that will be, you know, that will end up being a part of her life anyway. Um, that one looks good. I'm that's going in my basket. I reckon. I I I I must admit I'm quite big on their wedges as well. Like they are quite nice. Straight in my basket you go. She she is certainly not my wife yet. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Oh, Six Nations, Ireland's crispy chicken burger. I, I, I want to show my support to the Six Nations, but I don't want it. I don't want to show my support to Ireland. Is that a problem? Like, does it come with like an Ireland rugby top or something? If so, not interested. That's going in there. Beautiful, beautiful. Put the roast salmon in. I I probably should throw the roast salmon in, shouldn't I? That one that one does look good. It is it is on the expensive side, but you are getting salmon, uh, and you can add some Tony's white chocolate pots. Beautiful. Beautiful. We'll get we'll get that in there. We'll get that in there. Um, when you do propose, tell please tell me in Bradson first. I I wouldn't even know how I would announce to anyone else that I've proposed. Oh. 
Oh. He gets 16 sausages. Is that, eh? 16 sausages. That's mad. For two quid. That's pretty wild, actually. I think you might be going in my basket. Have we done all of them? Have we already picked out everything we want? Uh, garlic bread as well. Chat, thoughts on garlic bread. It's wild. I love it. I absolutely love me some garlic bread. Uh, we'll add that. I think I think we're done. I think we have done. Uh, I've got to make sure now I don't make it. Because uh, I am very scared that I'm going to do that at some point as well, doing these. Uh, is there any more that we fancy, though? I don't think so. So, all you do then um, is... You obviously click on your basket. And then, yeah, pretty simple. It will just get sent out to you, which is really, really ideal. Um, so, very, very easy to do. Uh, really simple. Really cost-effective. And I would highly recommend it. Uh, and you can see we've even we've even added some stuff on as well. Uh, garlic bread with cheese is garlic bread with cheese is chef's kiss. You love it. You absolutely love it. Um, <laughs> can you demonstrate filling in the shipping address? No, I cannot. Um, but yeah, so we'll we'll get we'll get that ordered. Uh, but that's, so I'll be honest. Occasionally, occasionally my my family do turn around and go, we're not eating pork sausages three nights in a week. Um, so there, there might be, there might be some changes by the time we get it, but we will, we will unbox it on next week's stream as well. Um, which, which if you watch the last one we did, uh, was slightly chaotic. Why don't you give Sam and Bradson an order? Sam and Bradson, we will, we will do some cooking and we'll see what, we'll see what we fancy as well. That would be really good fun. Um, but there we go then chat. That is HelloFresh once again. As always, a massive thank you to them for sponsoring the streams. Um, they'll be sponsoring next week out as well in Qatar, which should be good fun. As always, if you want to check it out, uh, like I said, link is pinned. Um, so, you know, click on it. You get a huge discount on your first order. And I think you get a discount on, like, your first five orders. So it is well, well worth it. Um, but yeah, let's head back then to Suzuka. I'll keep... Oh, no, you know, I don't want to keep that saved, do I? Because we, we'll probably end up doing some solitaire after the stream, won't we? So, yeah, let's get back in then, ready for the Japanese Grand Prix. Have I broke the game? No, not quite. Can I record again? I hope so. Maybe I've just broken the recording, I don't know. You you can buy DLC on HelloFresh, exactly. Downloadable content. So, we've got 2,500 R&D as well. Um, what do we want to do? We can't really do a lot anymore with upgrades. Like, we're pretty much there with the upgrades. Um, I think we are genuinely done everything I can at the moment. Can we do anything else? We got one upgrade, but we're already at maximum capacity. So I literally can't do anything onto the car before this race. Um, but yeah, let's do this thing then. Japan, it's going to be dry, which is wonderful. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. Me and you on a cooking stream would be scary. When is the next 24-hour iRacing race? Uh, it is uh, Spa, which is in May. It's like two weeks before F124 drops. Predictions! Bradson, Sam, one of you, are you able to do predictions or do I need to? I have to drive up to Sheffield. That's a very long commute just to cook. There we go. Thank you very much, Sam. Thank you very much. So you've got a couple of minutes then, chat. If you're on YouTube, tell me in chat. If you're on Twitch, bet some points. Where are we going to finish here? I'd, I'd rather you didn't toast, to be honest, but there we are. Pick me up in Bournemouth after. I'm very much going in two opposite directions there. had a couple of unplanned years away from the calendar, but it's now back where it belongs, at the heart of the Formula One season. Welcome along to the Japanese Grand Prix. We're southwest of the city of Nagoya today at the unique figure of eight Suzuka circuit. 3.6 miles and 18 corners make up a lap here. With average you watched, speeds I haven't watched any of the Grand Tours in quite a while hour. at this point. DRS will be available, of course, into the potential passing of Joe was only three minutes one. behind. Fair play to him. Fair play. Will be through 130R and into the final chicane. Right, how long do we reckon this race will take then, chat? Like 80 minutes? It's quite a short one, isn't it, Japan? You forget, it's so few laps. 
puts him on pole position. Edging out Max Verstappen. Hamilton pole by six tenths. How much will Max win the Grand Prix by? We have Sainz, Fernando Alonso, Norris, Perez, Mr. Monaco. Is that the Macarena in Spanish, Bradson? Hang on, who's got penalties? Why is Hulkenberg eighth? Russell with pens? Stroll's just awful. Leclerc with pens? And Perez? No, Piastri, of course. But still, Mick de Vries finds himself last. It's the Macarena from Google. Okay. Dare a tu quepro alegre Macarena? Cu tu copera espadale e creque coso bueno dali e te quepro alegre Macarena. It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. Have they still not updated it so De Vries is in the F1 world stuff? That is quite funny. So De Vries is Ricardo on this game. Right, okay then. Looking at strategy, tyre wear apparently is going to be quite high today. Um, but we're going to try. I mean, there will be a safety car and I will likely cause it. Um, so what we're going to try and do is softs to mediums. And really extend that medium stint. 23 laps, then 30 laps. I don't know why it wants me to put so much... Oh, no, it'll break. I need to leave the fuel in. That's fine. Nick de Vries lives on in all our hearts. We love him for it. Um, but pretty simple strategy, then, is everyone else is on mediums, I think. Apart from Alonso. So, that's a bit odd. Okay, so our system checks are good. We need to stay in formation and start bringing the car up to temperature, please. Get some load into the tyres and work the brakes. We want them nice and warm by the Is end of Pierre Gasly going to win this, just like he does in co-op? Maybe. Don't ruin the Macarena for us, Bradson. We love the Macarena. We don't need it ruined. How does the Macarena go again? Is it? Oh, it's that one, isn't it? I can't do it when I'm driving, but. Is it that one? I am right, aren't I? Or is it. No, that's the YMCA. We'll ignore that. Pause and do it. No, I can. All you got to remember now is once we get into the racing, I can't pause, because otherwise then the replay is not synced. And then it's a pain to edit. Oh no, Cam. Don't use me for the esports page. Oh, I get tired, man. I had an early wake up this morning. Ugh. I gotta hope this race runs smoothly. No dancing whilst driving. Six penalty points. It's not a real thing, is it? Is that a real thing? No, there's no way they can enforce that, surely. What's early? James early. Oh, sorry, what time did I wake up? Uh, it was before seven. It's like half six this morning. Which is early for me nowadays. Right, ready though. Japanese Grand Prix. Let me know, chat, where I'm finishing. James Early is an angel. We do not badmouth James Early. Oh, perfect. Okay, Point cool. two meters. Okay, we love yeah, it. Nice right, here we go then. We got to survive Keep turn one. We've got some slow cars behind me. Be ready with the clutch. Right, let's do this thing then. Japanese Grand Prix. Five red lights. Lights out and away we go. Or oh, not if you're pretty much anyone on my side of the track. We'll get straight past Norris into T1. And maybe Perez as well. Uh, Perez, give me some room, please. Apparently not. Apparently not. Oh, what is that curving, man? Scary curving at the start of this one. But Hamilton leads then. He's got Verstappen still in hop to Alonso up to P3, getting the jump on his fellow Spaniards. So, actually a decent little start there as well by the Aston Martin. They've been pretty poor this season. 
So that's good to see for Fernando. But yeah, Hulkenberg as well moving past Lando. So there's a real opportunity for us already to try and break free uh, from the Haas car. Maybe try and get around Perez. No chance there. All right, let's focus now for the oh, we've already got yellows. Who's got issues? No one. It's just Constantino right now. You're not first, you're not winning. Is that a Will Buxton quote? Oh, Perez already. A little bit of a wobble. All right, let's see what the straight line speed is like then. Can we put the Red Bull under pressure? To the inside, in towards 130. Ah, oh, Sergio! Oy, he wanted to turn in, but we were still there. Thank you. I'm at a P5 then by the end of lap one. Actually, one of my better starts on this game in this series. We've got to make up for the bottle in qualifying. We've got to get the car to the front of the field today. As Hamilton then. Kalina in front. The topless sim racer. That is certainly a name and a half. Welcome on in. Alright, so this race chat, though, I'll be honest, is really one where you just got to try and settle in and build confidence and momentum. It's so much about rhythm here, just because it's so easy to crash. Yeah, I always forget, 53 laps really... Whoa, isn't that many? Because that's what I mean about really easy to crash. Thank you for the follow as well, Topless. Oh, Verstappen lock up. Alonso, though, can't find a way through. Verstappen may be struggling earlier on. The pressure of only having a 94-point lead as we head into Japan is too much for Maximilian. Can't overtake to keep your nose there and hope the AI back out of it. Exactly. That's the best way of doing it. If is a very long word in Formula 1. In fact, if is F1 spelled backwards. Is that, um, that was a Murray Walker, wasn't it? Or kind of ad adapted from Murray. Okay, DRS will be enabled for this lap. You can use it when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. If Max goes to Merck for 2025, all my love for Mercedes will probably be gone, sadly. The thing is, I've, I don't even like their road cars, particularly. Like, there's not many Mercedes road cars I'd actively choose over, like, competitors. All of their big cars, I think, are hideous. I don't mind, like, the right, AMG GT. I would have an SLR as well. But that was McLaren Mercedes. Apart from that, though really a lot I fancy from them. I'm trying to just ease the car in though. Is Hulkenberg already dropping back a bit? So he's starting to cause a little bit of a train. I'm sure as the DRS gets unleashed he'll probably drop down like a stone. Um, but yeah, even if that just means Lando and Co are a bit further back. Really, really handy for me early on tonight. Lucky not to get a warning there. Nissan Q. Bottle job 212. What is that, bro? <laughs> Who did this? I am bottle job 212. How was someone else bottle job 212? Okay, Alonso is feisty, man. Hamilton's broke free, but Alonso is not going to be long before he's looking for a move, and he's forced Verstappen out. Verstappen tries to rejoin the road very recklessly. Sykes and I just about able to back out of it and get out of the way, as the Dutchman drives wherever he wants. He thinks he owns the roads. And uh, Massey as well, thank you for the follow, mate. I appreciate it. We are very close to 6,000 followers, chat. So if you aren't already and you are enjoying the stream, please do hit that follow button. It would be greatly appreciated. I smell identity theft. Millions of people in the US every year are victims of identity theft.
I coded Matt 2 and 2 and last 2 1 2. We are all code. Right, okay then. Carlos Sainz, are we close enough? Uh, let's find out. Yes, just, kind of. Actually, that was clean. I'm happy with that. I'll take it. I'm at a P4 then. Big, brave maneuvers coming in early on in the GP. Next up then is Maximilian. Yeah, what would you do, chat, if I was replaced next stream by, like, an AI bot? I mean, you'd probably be more entertained, but there we go. Actually, if I was AI, would I make less mistakes, or would that be coded in? My hope is that I got all my bottles out in qualifying. And that way we can enjoy the race without bottling it. That was my plan, all along. Oh, you gotta, you got to get ballsy with the moves sometimes, beastie. Can't let these AI just do what they want. Verstappen is just wiggling around, though. He has not got confidence in that car. As Hulkenberg is still causing an almighty train further behind. Why was Mercedes' power unit nerfed in 23? I don't think it was nerfed. It, well, in terms of general, it was just the top speed. I think they just completely messed it up, coding it in. Because it's 10 miles an hour down. On Everything else is limited to 228. Merck is 218. It's just really weird. I remember back on F1 2016, cars could do over 240 miles an hour. Which I managed to do. I think it's still my most viewed clip ever. Uh, Eric, thank you for following me. Welcome on him. I did not crash in that clip, no. So that's my most viewed short in terms of actual normal YouTube video. Actually, I don't even think that one's my most viewed short. I don't know. I don't, I don't actually know what my most viewed short is anymore. It's probably a mechanical failure of some sort. If it's on YouTube, or t I know TikTok is actually a three-way battle. Uh, Vex, thank you for the follow, mate. Welcome on him. Right, I'll be close enough to Max now, then. Towards the end of lap six, we're closer than we were on Sainz. Oh, the AI just blend the throttle through 130R. I'm kind of forced him to go in this side of him. I'm trying to see if we can upset his line, though, which we can he will get the run off the corner, though. Red Bull versus Williams. We try and get the power down. Wheel to wheel. Yellow's out. Someone else has got issues. And that's now for Tarry, then. Yuki Sonoda, no. The homeboy. Our first casualty of the night. And he barely saw six laps. That is heartbreak for Yuki. Max as well. Thank you for the fight. That is the Goat Earth on game. Thank you very much, mate. I appreciate it. I wouldn't say so, but... I appreciate the support. I'm staggered, to be honest, with Yuki part there that we haven't got a safety car. Not too worried, but still staggered. Have we checked the AI recently on this series? It's still exactly where it always is. Say, the bigger thing for me still is going to be corner cutting. And the fact Lewis Hamilton is rapid. Minus those two things. No one commentates and plays the game like you, I swear. I, I, I do like to think that's kind of my niche inside the space. Like, I'm certainly not someone that 
wants to hype themselves up or say I'm better than anyone else. But I would like to believe that I am... You know, I, I want to say I kind of built my brand on it, so I'd hope I would be the best person at it, but driving and commentating at the same time, I love. Hey, happy birthday, Matt. Hope you have a good one, mate. I'm doing well. Very well, thanks, mate. Hopefully you are as well. Alright, so Alonso on soft then, so it's going to be interesting to see how far he can go. So actually he's looking pretty racy here as well. He's trying to get me out of the DRS. We might be able to do the same to the Stappen. I don't actually know where the detection point is. Oh, it's final corner, isn't it? I always forget that this straight is in the DRS zone. Yeah, I've been trying to experiment more with the storyline stuff. Like, Gary is the absolute king of good storylines inside F1. But well, I've been trying to dabble with it a bit more. Of course, it's just like try and pride myself on realism as well. Um, but of course, you, you've got to. It's been one of those interesting things, trying to find that balance between realism and entertainment. I think, which is really important. My guess is C. But yeah, I think just trying to sort of find that balance between, you know, making it as entertaining as possible, but also, you know, I don't like a series where it's... I'm in the gravel trap. The Snappin will say thank you. That could have been a whole lot worse then. Um, but yeah, I don't like a series where it's eight-way title fight, although I did end up having that in F2. But that was completely unscripted. Um, or... These cars were seven wide for 14 laps. Anything like that. Like, me. Yeah. Realistic stuff is also usually unscripted. Exactly. I mean, I try and, like, races and stuff, I don't script at all still. And I never will, to be honest. I haven't got the, like, the energy or the willingness to do a race four times to make sure that we get the right championship ramifications. Like... If someone ends up wrapping a title up with three rounds to go, someone wraps a title up with three rounds to go. But I will also, you know, it's things like, obviously, in this game, sometimes AI won't move teams for ages. Um, so sometimes I'll shift them around now, that kind of thing. Although, to be fair, as some of you have asked before, I didn't actually send Lewis to Ferrari in my team. He did that organically, which staggered me. So Lewis went to Ferrari, I think Sykes went to Red Bull, and then Perez went to obviously what is really Alfa Romeo. Um, and then the other three that I swapped, so Yuki to Aston Martin. Um, and then I think it was Joe to Alfa Tauri? And then Awasa, I think, was automatic. And then obviously, I think I put also Porcher in Alpha. So I actually only modded like two of the five moves that happened. That has the best resume in the 2-2 two two universe. Driver and news reporter. Exactly. Exactly. I am everything. Yeah, Beastie, you, you shouldn't have even thought about me not bottling it. Because I will, inevitably. To be fair, like I said, though, I'm staggered I didn't bottle it worse than that. Like, it's so easy then to find yourself in a wall through there.
Can you change the Duracell battery? No, please. I need my Duracells. Well, the thing is, at the end of the day, I'm probably more known for being... for the talking over the driving than the actual driving, so... It kind of makes sense that I'm in the commentary seat. Oh, I was really hurting on the battery there. That could have been bad. I'll start trying to make inroads on Verstappen again, though. Although, the mediums are probably pretty close now in terms of performance. I am showing all the pace of the Alpine car, Smurf. Pierre Gasly's been given an illegal engine. But you didn't hear that from me. And Canal Plus can stick their questions up there behind. I don't answer to them. Oh, don't get a don't get a warning. I don't think I've had a warning yet, have I? He's maxing the range. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Right, we're certainly not going to get close enough then at the moment, but it might be that we have to use Alonso because he seems to be starting to struggle on his tyres more. We're already halfway through this stint. I don't actually know how bad tyre wear is yet. Uh, okay, tyres are getting chewed. So, lap 23 is actually going to be quite difficult on this set. They're going to feel like we're driving on ice. But, if the AI aren't going that aggressive on their strategy, then maybe there's still a good shot. I hate that curb. I would two stop. Nah, it's not worth it. You lose. I think the thing is, well, you lose quite a lot of time here. Like, eh, we'll see, actually. We'll see how far these tyres get. I'm definitely going to try... Well, I'm definitely going to go mediums next. But I could do, like, a late switch back to softs. Do say, like, 14 laps medium... Uh, sorry, softs, 25 laps mediums, and then 14 again. Something like that. But tyres actually feel all right still. Connor, well, quite mate. Hope you're doing well. love it when this track is so weird like you'll get one lap that feels beautiful and then like a few that don't feel that good what year is it hamilton is just walking away with the victories at the moment he won italy and singapore didn't he and was gonna win zandvoort as well until late on getting warm man I didn't clip the grass. Come on. Such a precise circuit. Formula 1 needs more track like this again. You know, it's not that you've got a mile of Astro turf or runoff area. It's literally fine grass under steel wall. I'll say that, and then when I inevitably bottle it, then I'll be wishing that it had loads of runoff. 24 Monaco's a year. That would be hilariously terrible. Right. Come on then, Maximilian Verstappen. Let's see what you got. That's not a warning, no. But that won't even do it normally. You can normally gain like half a second through there. Come on then, let's get a run on Max. He's going to make me go the long way around. Kimi Raikkonen 2005 style. Hey, And he ruined that. <laughs> Max Verstappen just bailed out of it. We would never see that in a million years. F123, not a realistic game. There's no way Max will back out of something on the inside. He's more likely to have done an air and center in, what was it, 1989? 
than whatever that was. Oh, was it? No, it was 1990, wasn't it? Sorry. Oui. 89 was where they crashed at Casio Triangle. Alonso, though, might be a bit easier to get round. Already burning through all this spare fuel as well. That's one thing we have to be careful of. Like, that fuel target is coming down dramatically. Ooh. Oh, I knew as soon as I nudged that curve then. This Williams is not a bad little missile, though. Fortunately, though, that mistake means I'm not going to be able to get close enough to get a run on Fernando. And it can't be long before he pits, though, I don't think. But we've really got to start nursing the tyres. We're increasing our gap on the car behind by around a second a lap. So Hulkenberg, then, looking on the mini map, still seems to have decent pace over the rest of the back markers. And is keeping, I believe, Stroll at bay, which isn't so impressive. Who could he be on for a point today? As, yeah, I mean, I feel sorry for, like, Leclerc and Piastri. Because it is so difficult to make moves for the AI here. Like, if they score points, he'll probably be quite happy. Oh, Alonso, a bit of a wobble. That compromises exit. We'll be closer. And we always seem pretty decent through the hairpin. Hamilton, though, is actually... The gap's starting to come back down again, I think. Beef! 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 Right, come on then, Fernando. Let's see what you can do. Oh, I've given him a push. That wasn't quite the intention, but we'll switch him. Uh, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Not my finest, but we'll take it. And we'll get some DRS as well for free. Alonso immediately into the pit lane then. So he's bored and humiliated. How much longer, though, can we get this set of tyres? I'm targeting still the end of 23. Oh, that's the first warning. That's stupid. One of the days where drivers will be pushed off track and keep battling. I liked it when Formula 1 drivers didn't get pushed off the track at every possible moment. See, if I was the head of the FIA, I would the first thing I'd change would simply be, if there's a car alongside you, you have to give them a car's width. As long as their rear wheel, sorry, as long as their front wheel are in line with your rear wheels, you have to give them a car's width on the road. None of this, I was in front, therefore I can barge you out. No. Actual good battling. And if you don't give them a car's width, you've got to give them the place. Simple as. Alonso has pit, yes. There wasn't any damage, I don't believe. Alvin in as well. I don't think he's going to be particularly relevant this weekend, but there we are. Alexander's in the pits. Alexander in the pits. So we have got a few of them that started on the softs, but you know, I still don't really know what their game plan is. Unless they are two stopping. Hey, fair play, Toast. New strategy available on the MFD.
Oh, what's the new strat? Uh, no. Oh, I've clicked it. Damn it. No. Immediately says yes to the team. <laughs> Everyone does like to believe. I don't even think it's Senna that's the influence anymore. I think it's a stat belief. Everyone goes, oh, well, Max dives it from 50 miles back. Therefore, so can I. But funnily enough, they're not Max Verstappen. Gaps are staying pretty level, then. As we reach one third distance. Oh, Russell. Okay. So I reckon AI are doing double soft strategy then. Surely you won't make back the time, though. I mean, Alonso is a good one. You lose probably close to 30 seconds here. Maybe slightly less. We've got a lot of spare energy. Okay. don't actually know where Alonso is. I think he's behind the second Alpine. So, yeah, it's probably a good 25 seconds. Not convinced we make that back up later on. Depends how these tyres feel, I guess. Right, Matt, time to spice this up for the views. What have I got to do? The thing is with the Daniel Ricciardo dive bomb is it was composed. It wasn't that you go in and, like, with Ricciardo, like, apart from the one he attempted on Bottas in Kota. Oh, no! Why has it put me in lean? Eh? What's that about? Is that a thing? Am I now stuck in lean for the rest of the afternoon? Or is it just like a temporary thing? What is that? I mean, it could be a lot worse, I guess, but not ideal. Uh, it is technical fault. I thought so. I just haven't seen it. Well, we're losing a lot of speed down the straights. And a lot of this track is high speed, so we're going to have to use even more battery. We're plus six laps, but I think I started this with plus eight. I didn't even know, like, I knew lean mode was still in this game, but... How weird. How very peculiar. Yeah, you can see how much Max is now taking at me down the straights. Oh, that's going to be a warning. No, it's not, somehow. A warning seemed very... Oddly lenient tonight. But I know full well by saying that I'm jinxing myself. Box, box? No, not now. Not now. Still too early. I'm not going to bother changing my strategy. That won't fix it, will it? Hopefully that isn't a sign of things to come, though. I do not want a mechanical failure here. Yeah, it's worth you. Oh, there we go. It's back to normal now. Very odd. That was a one lap technical glitch, not even a lap's worth. around now so just be careful the tires actually weirdly don't feel too bad i think it's because the fall off is slower in a 100 percent race like they still feel usable right now not great but usable like end of 23 is absolutely viable unless they suddenly just fall off a cliff like i don't actually think we're in a bad strategy position here the williams is a very thirsty girl 
But it's also because on 100% races, if you've done the fuel sim run in practice, it completely messes it up. Because it basically just assumes you're going to use nowhere near enough fuel. That was close to a warning. But yeah, the, the, the cars seem much thirstier in early seasons. Where is George? Uh, he's way down. He's like P13 or something. He's on a different strategy though, so... He's very much, unless we get a safety car, at the moment irrelevant in this Grand Prix, I'm sorry to say. a lock up in a while let's get one wheel off the line and you really pay the price for it especially when I'm trying to take a little bit of time out of Lewis here I want to see if we can work an undercut but I need to probably have that gap down to about two seconds and it kind of depends on what strategy he's going with how is that not a warning again we are getting away with those here fair play Branson I just want to try and get that gap down to Lewis just a little bit more before we pit. That's all I want. Oh, not like that. No, 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 no. Thank you. Of course, Max finds another way past me. Yeah, ties are maybe starting to go now. Second scary moment through there. Lewis now with a five-second lead. As I'm now stuck battling a Red Bull again. Oh, Alonso's gone out of the range as well now. He's in clear out, so he's definitely got a big undercut. Alonso might actually undercut his way to the lead here. Depending on when everyone else pits. Is Verstappen another wobble? That's going to help me. So we might not be behind the Red Bull for too long. Get to the inside of him. Oh, don't turn in on me, sir. As we'll force him out wide then in the end. That wasn't really on purpose. It was just he squeezed me and I got scared. Get to Lewis, though, up to five seconds now then. So any chance of an undercut, he's okay, gone. Our by okay, we can take you this lap. In 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 stamp 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 stamp. Oh no, where am I going? Come on. Tires are looking pretty wrecked, but could be worse. Almost a half distance though, so we've actually done all right. How far will the mediums go though, chat? That is the real question. Will the mediums last a lot longer? Will they feel more comfortable? I don't recommend using the hards around here too much. Just because if you do go off the line, it's really difficult. Just because obviously you've got that less just residual grip. I can't really is the problem, Bryson, but I've got to put my webcam somewhere. And I don't use it much either. Right, come on then. Into the pits will come. I reckon then we'll be out around the Haas. I'm hoping we're ahead of that Alpine Mercedes Ferrari scrap. No! Oh, good. Somehow again, not a warning. Yeah, the goal is to be out around that Haas car. Alonso will definitely have the jump on me here. As we 
try and get a nice tidy into the pit lane. Verstappen and Lewis, of course, staying. But I bet they're slightly worried about how far we've been able to take these softs. Because they'll probably know what my game plan is here now. Um, but, yeah, there goes Alonso. So, he, yeah, he's probably going to be in the lead, I reckon. Beautiful, beautiful. And I reckon we're going to be out about where I said as well. Might be slightly close with Russell on the exit. Go, 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 go. Come on, we are racing, George. And we've been jumped by him. And there's an Alpine as well. Side by side on pit exit. We'll stay ahead of Gasly. Lovely. Uh, James, thank you for the follow. Welcome on him. Hope you're doing well. Track limits on Suzuka are really oddly lenient. I think that's the thing. This is first season, yeah. It's only taken me like eight months to do 17 races. So we need to try and find a way around George quite quickly and Hulkenberg, to be honest. Seems like a lot of the AI, though, are really struggling to put the power down. Um, as, yeah, Alonso, though. I, di I didn't actually... I think Alonso's on softs again. I think. Oh, Russell's just going to have the DRS on Hulkenberg as well. That's a shame. Um, so, yeah, Alonso is, I think, two-stopping, which is good. Are we going to be able to get a run on George? He's going to try and get a run on Nico as well. Oh, come on in. Come on in, Georgie boy. Let's play this game, shall we? To the outside. Thank you. So dumb. So dumb. So I don't know what George is doing. Because he's on mediums. Alonso is on softs, though, so he's definitely pitting again. Can we go the long way around? Hulk? No. Oh. I looked for it. You can't argue I didn't look for it. Oh, Hulkenberg, a little bit of a wobble. We'll try and muscle our way around the inside. That was scary. Around the outside of Hulkenberg in towards the first Degna, I would not recommend. So Alonso, yeah, it's only eight seconds up the road, so... I'm really not convinced a two-stop is the way to go here. Like, you see how far away Lewis is still up the road. Like, two-stop, it's so difficult to call back that time. Oh, that's a warning. Got no more warnings then, chat. When are you going to upload on your Solitaire channel? I basically want to try and get some clips up together. But I probably... The best way to do it is probably just start doing it, I reckon. Oh, that was almost a warning. Oh, okay. Max in. Max going soft. Hang on. Surely he's not taking those to the end. Surely Verstappen can't be on softs to the end of this race. Luckily as well, he's behind Hulkenberg, which is good. 28 laps on a set of softs? That can't. I mean, the AI, he will do that. But that is ridiculous. Surely all the other AI aren't going the same way. I could probably be... I'll be closer to Lewis, absolutely. But it depends on what ties he's going on and what strategy he's doing. Have an air. AI enemy on this game. Um, mine is, seems to be Michael Schumacher in most series I do. In this series, I don't think I've got one in particular. Uh, more cars pitting, though, as Verstappen has already moved back past Hulk. Perez, uh, Norris, Lewis, all in. So where they're all going soft to the end. That is insane. 
How on earth are the AI managing that? As Lewis Hamilton then re-emerges. Three seconds. So we have undercut him by a little bit. Maybe we're not out of this. Whoa, if their tyres fall off towards the end, maybe there's a chance. But we're going to have to be really, really methodical with the way we do things. Russell's still ahead of a stack on though. That's good for me. But yeah, Alonso is effectively into the net lead then. It's just Carlos Sainz that has... Yeah, I, I don't want to get a penalty. I really need to avoid that in the second half. I mean, surely the AI aren't going to drive a little bit slower to get those ties to the end either. Surely they're just going to absolutely destroy them, but have the grip. We're only a half distance as well, chat. When are the folks back from France? They're already back. They got back earlier today. They had a nice time. Can we see Dog 2 and 2 if you win this race? Uh, maybe. Problem is, I, I've got a problem with Dog 2 and 2 at the moment, chat. Uh, because she's fat and I'm weak, uh, I actually pulled a muscle in my chest a few weeks ago when I picked her up and it genuinely hurt for like a week and a half. Best track ever. It's certainly up there, Tron. Well, come on in, mate. You did not just slander Dog212. I certainly did. She's cute, but... She's not even fat, to be fair. She's just... I mean, she's a Labrador, so she's just quite dense. She's a very solid object. No! Ugh. -huh. They got Hamilton makes the move on Alonso. Down into 130R. Pretty scary stuff there between two of Formula 1's most experienced drivers. I think Lewis has done it though. So Alonso isn't even going to get to lead a lap here as Sainz finally pits. Would Alonso be able to get the run back on Lewis, perhaps? I can't imagine so. He's going to try it though. As we're back up into the podium places then. I love the way we're all quite happy to call me Fat212, but I dare call my Labrador Fat and everyone everyone gets very angry. I love where the loyalty is. I mean, I get it, but... If you think NASCAR is just driving around in a circle, you don't know enough about NASCAR, is all I'm going to say. Dog 2 and 2 does bottle it less than me. It's very true. Dog 2 and 2 would do a better job on this game. Although she doesn't actually like going in the car a lot. She doesn't mind it, but it's just not her favourite activity. The Labrador is pretty cute, bless her. She's a good girl. Right, lap 30 then. Oh, another new PV. Don't know what's... Did anyone see what time Lewis set? No, it's when... It, she just doesn't like getting in the boot of the car for some reason. Like, I, the, so... Genuinely, what she doesn't like is occasionally, like, to stop her getting wet feet, I'll carry her into the car. So whenever you don't do that now, she just kind of looks at you going, can you please pick me up and put me in the car? And you're like, no. She likes basically to be a princess, I think is the problem. 
Yeah, Lewis is cooking. He's just pulling away now. And what worries me is the other AI behind might be doing the same. She deserves the front seat. No, she's safer in the boot. She's got more room in the boot. And I don't want her getting mud all across my passenger seat. A yellow lavender pug. Cute. She deserves to be treated like royalty. There is nothing resembling royalty that I can describe that dog like. Right, should be able to get a run on Fernando. Uh, Willie Matic, thank you for following me. Welcome on him. Are we going to get Alonso before the DRS zone? No, I don't think so. Could have been close enough to send it, but there's no real point. Uh, but he's definitely boxing again before the end of this. Can't actually be that far away before Fernando does pit once again. At the final corner, though. DRS. May, come on. This is a bit more scary than I'd hoped. But we are through. We're back into P2. Alonso tries to get back at me on the exit. And now we've got to try and go and hop suit Lewis, who is seemingly much quicker than me at the moment. So I think even if the AI do pit again, I can't even... I've basically got to risk it and stay out there. Although I am expecting them to somehow go more than half a race on their tyres. But, like, there's no way otherwise we make the time back up on Lewis. Like, we may as well just then gamble it and try and stay out to the end. being careful now about the warnings though don't want to pick up another one <laughs> I'm not convinced she wants press I'll be honest so yeah Lewis is just pulling away like four tenths a lap at the moment so unless his tyres really fall off towards the end I don't see a way in which we get in this fight I mean you could have a mechanical I could have a mechanical. I just don't know. Are you a fan of wagons such as estates? I love a good estate car. I would rather have an estate than an SUV. Or, sorry, a saloon. Uh, that's a really stupid way to throw away some time. Like, one of my dream cars is either BMW M3 Touring or Audi RS6. I would love either. AI, yeah, but the thing is, the AI might not might not stop again. Oh, we got yellows. We got yellows. Someone, Alpine. Should I be surprised? No, probably not. Alpine breaking down, though. That could be a safety car. Depending on where they come to a stop. Oh, is that going to be a safety car? It might well be. We'll get the softs lined up, ready to go, if it is. Um, here, okay, Gasly. Gasly. Right, got no safety car, car though. Shocking. I really thought that would be a safety car then, but apparently not. So both of Alpha Tower's 2022 driver lineup out of this Grand Prix. Yellow flag. Someone's come off ahead of you. There's a yellow flag ahead. A silly SUV at the moment. Okay, so I love the GR Corolla. Such a cool car. Because I don't mind SUVs. What I hate in the UK is the new obsession with big pickup trucks. Like, I get in the US that they're popular, but here in the UK, like, the amount of them I see on the motorway that are sat in the middle lane doing 65 miles an hour with no idea of anything going on around them. But it doesn't matter because my car's bigger than yours. Like, it grinds my gears so badly. I, so, if the AI box, I'm not boxing. If we get a safety car, I will box onto another set of softs. I don't believe the AI are going to pit again, but we'll see. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. 
That's just self-conscious about its size. No, it's got no idea, nothing to do with that. It's entire. Oh, that's annoying. It's just the amount of people now that have a truck when they don't need them. And they just take up space. Like, I get in the US that their roads are much better suited for them and things like that. But here in the UK, car parks, a lot of roads, things like that just aren't designed for huge pickups. And I've got no problem with it if, you see, you work on a farm. But if it's, oh, well, I can put shopping in the back, then you're a moron. Because that's not how it works. Like, I genuinely reckon, like, most people bought them in the UK because they were a tax write-off for years. Now they're not anymore. I think you're going to start seeing a lot more of them getting sold. Um, but a lot of people, it's like, well, well, I can have one, so I'll have one. And I reckon you should have to, you should be legally required to prove that you will use it for its intended purpose before you're allowed one. Sorry, that's my rant of the evening over. Don't tell the people of Surrey. People of Surrey are the problem here. You sound more and more like Jezza every day. Oh, it worries me. Don't say that. The Hello Fresh Cell Melons? I have no idea. But the thing is, if you're actually going to use it for its purpose, like, I've got no problem with a pickup truck. But it's the people that have one just to get to Sings Risen Bag that annoys me. It's your favourite track on F123? Probably Qatar. Like, if you're going to use it for that, Branson, absolutely fine. Don't care. Go for it. Live your life. Right, Max has now jumped to Lon Solo, so I feel like we're going to be under pressure very soon. And the three-second time penalty might come back to haunt me. All we can really hope for is the AI's tyres start to fall off. I mean, they only pit, like, nine laps ago, so it's going to be a while yet. Where's the minigame to fight the FIA over penalties? All I need to do is speak to Mohammed Ben Salayam, don't I? He'll get rid of my pens for me. Oh wait, I'm not Fernando Alonso. I shouldn't worry too much if I get another warning now, should I? So Max and the gap's pretty much started level. Hey, fair play, dead cool. P2 and a Hass is not bad going. Need to up the AI for the next one. Alright, two-thirds distance then ticked off. We are getting there. I want to try and keep Max out of the range, because that way then, if his tyres start falling off, then we can try and pull away. What lap did you put the mediums on? 23-24. We did, we boxed in at the end of 23. So it was technically lap 24 the mediums went on the car. Exactly. See, Toast has got the right idea. As long as you're having fun, that's all that matters. 
way too early on the brakes there. Ghost, welcome on in, mate. Hope you're doing well. It takes time, dead cool. Just trust me, when F124 comes out, you'll be flying. Oh, crisp, that's not good. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm running sort of anywhere between about 1.5 and 1.10 normally. But at the end of the day, this is my job, so you kind of hope I'd be good at it. Otherwise, no one would watch. Um, well, people just watch for the bottles, but that's beside the point. Right, well, gap to Lewis then. Maybe now it's starting to go the right way at last. He's been on those tyres about 12 laps, but obviously I've been on mine for 15. I'm going to start monitoring it a little bit closer. Just because I want to believe there's still a shot here. I mean, our tyres are going to pretty much hit the cliff as well by the end of this. It's the other thing we've got to be careful of. But of course, yeah, if we did pit, there's no way we get... You know, if Lewis and I both pit, there's no way we get to him. So even if he does pit, we've just got to stay out there. And it might be, whoa, that we lose a load of time towards the end. Lewis could probably pit now and still win this thing. Like, he'd just have the pace over me. I think we've got to just start using the battery a little bit more in effective places. Try and start making those gains. I need about half a second a lap. That's the goal. And this lap, it looks like we're pretty much going to be on for that, unless I mess up through these final few corners. And there you go. So we've taken a half second out of Lewis there. We've only pulled a couple of tenths on Max, though. So he's looking pretty racy still. But let's just keep trying to take a bit of time out of him each and every lap. Maybe just give us that extra bit of confidence we need in towards the final few, as that's not the line through one. I guess that's the other thing as well. We need to see if Lewis's tyres fall away, because that might allow him to drop back even more. Oh, I mean, how is that a warning? Where did I actually run off the road there? Guess the other big thing, of course, as well, is making sure the stack and sights don't stay in the range. And Perez, I suppose. Yeah, I don't think we've got the advantage over Lewis yet. I think that was just a one-off decent lap in the end. Toast, it's it's understandable. It, 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 to be honest, I always say if you're worried about crashing into other people in online racing so you haven't yet, then you're probably the kind of person that should be online racing. Um, but, you know, you, you can try and go in less aggressively, things like that, and just kind of learn the ropes. It takes time. But once you get there, it's really good fun. If that was Max, it wouldn't be a warning. It's a fair statement. close. 
I mean, yeah, the AI, if they were going to pit, they'd be doing it about now. That's what you've got to consider. George Russell has, to be fair, but... And so is Alex Albin. Alexander's coming in for a stop now. And yeah, I don't believe any of the front runners are boxing. Oh, we'll to Lewis now, down in under eight. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I don't want to believe this race is done yet. I think that's the thing at the moment. But yeah, we're getting to the point where we need to be close to a second a lap faster. And that's quite tough. Unless if tyres have hit the cliff. Again, I don't get how that isn't a warning. I'm not going to complain, but it certainly seems odd here. Oh, I'd still say, Crisp, it is, it is well worth it. Like, DD Wheel has completely changed the way I race, which is good fun. But I totally get as well that you're worried about spending all the money and then not enjoying it. But I guess you've got to think as well, you know, if you buy from, like, Family Tech or Moza or someone like that, even if you sold it a year later, you'd get most of the money back. Welcome on in, DC. Hope you're doing well, mate. Ugh. So close to a warning there. Again, yeah, we'll just lose a little bit of time. Something was odd on this game, really. I say a lot of things are odd on this game. Yeah, I think that's the thing, isn't it? If you haven't done a lot of sim racing before, it's kind of very difficult to work out before you get into it whether you're going to enjoy it. Like, the amount of people that you saw through COVID that would drop, like, five, ten grand on a sim rig and then never use it was insane. Brody, welcome on in, mate. Hope you're doing well. I, that's exactly what I've got. Exactly what I got, Campbell. Would recommend. I believe I also have an affiliate link with them if you were considering buying through them and want to help support. Cheeky self-plug there. Um, but yeah, Track Racer, I love mine. I got the Fanatec wheel mount on it as well, so it's even more fun. Tire condition, still looking good. Cannot recommend it enough. Yeah. I think, well, as Toaster said, you can get like a G29 or something like that for like 200 quid. Which I get is obviously still a lot of money. Um, but it is a lot cheaper than balling out spending like a grand and a half on a Fanatec setup. And of course, the good thing is with like the Logitech and stuff as well is you don't need anywhere near as an expensive rig for it. Hey, thank you very much, Campbell, mate. Plug the gloves. If you if you need sim racing gloves as well, chat. IMB Racewear. I got the Ma the custom Matsu and Two gloves, or if you want any of the other ones off them, they are fantastic. I love mine. I've never tried the Hori racing wheel, but I would always say go with a Thrustmaster T150 instead, just because it's got force feedback. Like, you really don't get the experience from a non-force feedback wheel, I find. Like, my first one was non-force feedback and it was terrible. So I, within about six months I went to a Thrustmaster TNX, and that lasted me for years. And then I went to Fanatec. I 
I love the F1 game, but like a cheap sim setup being half the system I'm playing the game on, it's just awful. Yeah, that's the thing, it costs a lot. We are almost into the final 10 laps though, chat. Gap to Lewis is staying pretty level still. Um, so I think, yeah, all our focus now is just going to be on trying to get the Stappen out of the zone. I'm not going to finish P5. I refuse. Bossman Jam. Even if it means I finish lower than P5. Although, to be fair, the Stappen now is seemingly struggling a bit. Perez is all over his gearbox. So I don't quite know what's going on there. You've lost some time to the car behind. Hey, fair play, Deadpool. Cool. Let's try and get that gap to the staff and then back up over two seconds. I just need them to start battling behind me as well. Like we have got to really start thinking about this towards the end. Oh. I think we can still do it. Absolutely. Just about trying to make sure I get the laps nailed. And don't do that. There you go, two seconds. Temporarily. It's also about managing the battery. But you do still burn a lot of battery around here. So it kind of feels like you go for one push and then like a couple of neutral laps. Oh, okay. The staff in there I think is having a battle with Checo. And immediately then we got that gap up to three. That is fantastic. Red Bull Civil War behind me. Sykes getting involved as well. You love to see it. Sykes getting between them. Come on, lads. Just fight to the end. Give me some breathing room. It would be greatly appreciated. No. Oh, oh, oh. That could have been GG then. That could have been really bad. And immediately, all that time I just gained over Verstappen, we've gone and lost. But I've proven I can do it. Road to 10k just got easier. Exactly. If you got offered to drive five laps in any F1 car, what are you taking? Either... The F2004, simply because V10 and traction control, or the Mercedes W11. I have not pre-ordered F124 yet. I do need to do that. I believe Fed's alright. He's just obviously... He's in Canada, he's working a lot, so he's keeping busy. Oh, I got so worried then. That was going to be an engine... We're still able to see. Look at how much fuel we burn, though, chat. Like we definitely put too much in, but not by a lot. Eight laps to go, though. Yeah, these tyres should be fine to the end. No idea, though, how the AI are managing that. Oh, come on. Gotta try and get that gap back up to max. to steer man mm. 
two-player career is good fun, especially with a buddy. Like Gary and I, I think has genuinely been one of my favourite series to do on FM23. Albert is having an absolute stinker. We pulled out a second a lap on average on in this race, which is wild. Uh, uh, almost overworked the tyres. We've got to get that gap back over to ASAP. Just keep pulling that little bit by little bit over the Dutchman. Absolutely have not had the pace to match Lewis today, but I do not want to finish behind Max. Although I believe I'm mathematically out of the title fight anyway. Oh, so lucky not to get another warning. Have I got any spare warnings, chat? Can we remember? Or is it literally now if I get another warning, it's a pen? Right, gaps over two. Sykes is now attacking. This is good. Sykes is through. That might not be so good. Go wheel to wheel, please. Oh, that's another warning. That's definitely my last. That gap is almost up to three. Six laps to go, then. I've got no more warnings, but I have almost got the gap back where I need it. And Sykes is carving his way through. Tell you what, though, with the way Lewis is driving at the moment. As Perez and Verstappen now battling? I don't know. With the way Lewis is going at the moment, he might actually still be a threat to Max by the end of the season. He's exactly 100 points back, which seems mental to say. But it might be his third Grand Prix win in a row. And Red Bull don't seem that hot at the moment. Kind of still requires a bit of luck, but you know, even if Max just had one mechanical failure, something like that, it says it all that a fourth place is going to be one of his worst results this season. Yeah, I've definitely got no more warnings now. I just couldn't remember if I had a spare one or not. Come on. Oh, Sainz is so fast, man. How is Sainz cooking? He boxed around the same time as the rest of them, didn't he? We need another half a second. But I also cannot afford to make a mistake in that time. I wanted him to battle Max, but Max has just fallen off the face of the earth. Very little in the way of battery, though. Five laps to go. Four more tenths. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it really could be. We expect you'll be noticing a bit of grip loss in the tyres around now, so just be careful. Well, if I am, why aren't the AI? Their tyres should be absolutely wrecked. Pace is moving around so much, but a bit like qualifying now, I am hammered a sweat. Come on! Uh, nose in. It's just the way you can gain like three tenths somewhere and then lose it all. Like the way the time ebbs and flows here is so difficult. No, not a warning. Oh, I had to bail out the throttle. We're both taking time out of Lewis now, which is quite surprising. Because Verstappen is absolutely falling off. Might be about to lose the place to Perez, and this might be his joint worst result of the year. Other thing is I cannot go into the bottom 5% of the ERS. Otherwise, we are going to start losing so much straight-line speed. 
I'd rather lose a bit of time by not getting close to it than lose a bit of time by ending up down in that range. Final lap, yeah, I'll drain it if I need to, but not before then. Ugh. Our gap's up to three. We are making up so much time through there. I mean, are all the other AI tyres about to fall off in the way Max's has? Because he's have completely collapsed. And everyone else put like a lap or two after him. So I really don't know what's going on for the Dutchman. But I want to believe. We are taking time out of Lewis though now. It's been a while since that gap was under 8 seconds. And Sainz now up over 3 as well. I can smell a bottling coming. So can I. But we'll wait and see. 3 more laps. Oh, that was close. That was even closer. Come on, don't throw this away. Not right at the end. We've got the gap over Max. Oh, I thought that was Lewis. It's not, it's Nick DeFries. Definitely starting to struggle with the fronts. I can't imagine how bad the AI's tyres are now, but clearly they're going to be fine. Imagine if they all just got punctures. If Lewis got a puncture on the final lap or something. No! Damn it! There's your bottle! No way can we pull out another two and a half seconds in two laps. I'm so stupid. Come on. I mean, we might still get Perez and Verstappen here. Tides are giving up, though. There's no way we gain that time now in two laps. How can I be such a monumental dingleberry? Taking another second out of Lewis, to be fair. We can only hope Science's tyres collapse. No! Ugh. No! 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 Ah, oh, man! Oh, sorry, Perez. Oh, I cannot believe this. I'm such a bottle job on this game. <sighs> such a bottle job, man. We ran podium contention all day. All day. And I'm going to throw it away. I hope to see every single AI get a puncture on this final lap. Honestly. I'm actually going to finish P6. I cannot believe this. There's no way I gain that time back over Lando and Max now. Final lap of the Japanese Grand Prix. Are any of us shocked? No, of course not. Just got to get it home now see how many points we do score. No, not again, please. Thank you. 
I might even lose to Fernando, I reckon. Because he's on much fresher tyres than everyone else. I reckon I'm going to lose to Fernando. I'm actually going to finish this race in 7th, exactly where I started. Despite basically never running in 7th over the course of the afternoon. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. How do I bottle so many races in this series? What is wrong with me? We're going to find a few corners, though. I mean, yeah, I don't see a way in which we're six seconds ahead of Fernando. We'll drain the battery, but... I mean, it might be close. Lewis Hamilton, though, is going to win the Japanese Grand Prix. There are three wins in a row from Lewis. And wants to believe he can keep his championship hopes alive out of the final corner. It's P7. I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game, chat. Oh. How do I bottle so many races in this series? I really feel the track layout combined with the track temperatures we saw today suited their car. These cars come alive when the tires are just at the right temperature and the driver did a great job. I am the main reason there is so much plastic in the oceans. It's completely fair. What's I hope you're doing well, mate. Who is Dingleberry hand pump? I got no idea. No idea. Mitch with three bits, thank you much. Thank you very much, mate. I appreciate it. I'm to the forecasted podium. It, it disappeared, Toast. I don't know. Oh, that wheel is warm, man. That is really warm. Oh, man. Six points. How many points have I bottled this season? I've, like, bottled so many. I'm probably close to, like, 50 or 60 points and, like, three wins. We could have been close to Lewis, I think, on track by the end of this as well. Yeah, you 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 seem to be. You definitely joined at the wrong time there, Quartz. I'm doing well though, thanks, mate. So then, it's apart from that, apart from that, the of course. This result then narrows the gap between our championship leader. Hello, fresh as a bottle in a car, <laughs> Matt Beard. Deary me. Racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? It's got to be Lewis Hamilton. I mean, he pulled off some impressive. Yeah, Lewis driver of the day, I suppose. We lost to Fernando by less than a second, but. Yeah. Alex, still came P12. Wow. I can't wait to see what's next. I reckon I bottled close to as many points as I've scored this season. But there we go then. Lewis Hamilton takes home a dominant win here at Suzuka. Then three wins in a row for the Brit. Is he still with an outside shot of the crown by the end of the year? There, Sainz P2 ahead of both Red Bulls. Norris Alonso, myself with Russell, Leclerc, and Piastri rounding out our top 10 today. Just Pierre Gasly and Yuki Tsunoda that didn't see the flag, and Nick De Vries, the only driver to get lapped. But that means championship-wise, uh, Max now, yeah, that gap at the top down to just 84 points as Lewis up at P2. Perez there still in P3 ahead of Charles Leclerc, but maybe Sainz trying to get back in that fight as well there. Luckily, We've still got a bit of a buffer over Alonso, and I reckon we can beat Lando by the end of the year. But I reckon with all those points I bottled, we'd probably be around George at this point of the season there. Still only the Alpha Towers that haven't scored so far this season, uh, and constructors-wise there, we lose a little bit more as well to McLaren. But thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, please do make sure to leave a like, get yourself subscribed, and we will return very soon when Formula 1 returns ready for the Qatar Grand Prix. We've got some sprint races coming up. That is going to be intense. Oh, chat. We'll, we'll finish off with some solitaire. Try and, try and get some solace from all of that. Predictions. I will pay out predictions. I'm going to guess you won Reese's Pieces based on the optimism. Engine issue was important. We should consider investing more in the engine issue was unfortunate. The most unfortunate bit there, mate, was the, the thing you had behind the wheel. The chances of this cropping up in future races. Uh, choose outcome. P6 to P8. Congratulations if you voted P6 to 8. Did anyone do it? Did anyone win some points?
points. Uh, YouTube really, uh, Twitch, sorry, really likes. Ah, uh, Mitch! Congratulations, mate, and BZ. Both picking up some points. If I didn't bottle it, you would have scored some points. So you should always predict a Matt 2 and 2 bottle. Always predict Thanks for having Matt me. 2 and 2 bottle. Right. Yeah, we did get we did get R and D for the engine issue for some reason. Right. Come on, upgrades. Damn it. We just cannot catch a break. Luckily, we got the R and D. I should have rushed it. Oh, what is this? This game, man. Oh, I can't even rush it. Are we gonna get any upgrades on the car? Yes! Two chassis upgrades. To come through, but some of them have failed quality so we can do one more there as well. Yeah, we'll go with that then. Engine cover. That'll be done before Brazil. So, I mean, yeah, if we get all those upgrades on, Aston Martin are the best car. What is that? Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Right, let's go win a game of Solitaire and then we'll raid someone. Finish off the night. Qatar, you need to learn not to bottle it. I need to learn not to bottle it at every track, to be fair. Like, it's just disgusting. Disgusting. I'm so annoyed with myself there. Right. Will I bottle Solitaire as well? That's the real question. Why is it so slow? My, that's how bad my internet currently is, chat. Uh, right. We're just going to do this, though, first time. You watch this. We are about to cook. That's a shame. That's also a shame. That's not so much of a shame, though. Oh, man. I'm sweating so much from that. Oh, no, I can't do that. Oh, I can do that, though. Wonderful. 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 Okay, that's good. We'll tidy up the board a little bit. Um, but yeah, thank you as well, though. Sorry uh, to everyone that stopped by, obviously, that only is interested in the Formula 1. Um, we'll be back maybe Thursday night with an iRacing stream. Uh, just because I don't know whether I'm still going to have a voice by then or not. Um, but yeah, we will we will be back with some streams very soon. Am I already out? Please don't say I'm already out of this. Please, game. This has got to have some mercy on me, surely. Is there a red eight anywhere? We already messed this up. Are you having a laugh, game? Is this game having a laugh? I think it is. What can I do? Have I already messed this up? Oh, my brain is just like giving up the will to live. Not actually, but my, just my brain is failing to function. Solitaire slow-mo edit with music in the background when? Someone can cook that and it will f be pure fire. What on earth is BZ plugging on? You might, I do. I definitely am getting ill. Like I know that as well. So it, it, I, that's that's my excuse for why I bottled it. Like that is absolutely my racing driver excuse for disease. But I've got to do some solitaire to finish off. Always got to finish with some solitaire chat. This is an unwritten rule. What if I go there? Oh, that makes no difference, does it? Come on, Matt. Use your brain. It's still got some functioning ability in it. Okay, that's good. That's good. It's what we want to see. I'm still able to connect some of these. Uh, right, bang, 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 bang. Uh, okay, I can go there, that's fine. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, 
I need a red eight. What am I doing? Eh? Like, I think it's because I concentrate so much as well in that race. Like, I can literally feel my brain melting. Oh, why didn't I do that? I'm so thick. So thick. Can't do that. Right, what am I doing? Come on. Use your brain. That's good. I believe. Right, what can I move? Oh, I've got I'm so stupid. How am I not seeing these? Oh, I think we're getting there, chat. I think we're getting there. Surely. Surely we're basically there. Go like that. Go like that. Go like that. And go like that. There we go. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. That didn't take too long either to finish off the stream. Uh, thank you, everybody. So much for watching. Uh, who could we go raid on Twitch? For all our Twitch viewers. Who are we going to tell that Fat212 sent them? I don't think many people stream on a Tuesday, do they? Um, we will raid... Who will we raid? Who's streaming F1? Obviously, I think everyone's streaming iRacing tonight, aren't they? Um, we will raid... I love the way it's just me playing Solitaire. Ah, we'll raid this guy. Why not, eh? Um... Hopefully, he's, he's doing some open lobbies by the looks of it. So go tell him that Fat212 sent you and go have a wild one. But yeah, thank you everybody for stopping by. Um, like I said, we might be back Thursday night either way. I'll make sure I pop something. Um, but yeah, thank you all. And I will see you in a bit. Tell this guy that Fat212 sent you. It'll be glorious. Just tell him that Fat212 bottled it.